power of the Word of God is inexhaustible. Thus, it is unrelenting. I, I wonder if there are many here who've ever heard the testimony of a gentleman named Luke Short. I don't suspect many of you have. He lived in the colony of Virginia in the 1700s. It's such a curious story. This, this gentleman, Luke Short, just an ordinary guy, not a believer, went to church every now and again, didn't engage, didn't like it, really just got out of it a cultural experience. And he lived to be 103. Now, I know that didn't land on you like it probably should have, but let me reassure you, very few people in the 1700s were living to 103. They hadn't discovered this modern invention of washing your hands, I don't know, showering regularly, brushing your teeth daily. Some of you should pick up the practice. I recommend it to you, right? <laughs> Like, like, like human modern medical advancement, when you go back just to the 1700s, it's pretty shocking how they lived. This guy, Luke Short, lived to 103 years of age, and then he tells a testimony. He's just going about his daily business, 103 years of age, and he remembers a gospel sermon that he heard preached to him 85 years earlier. And the moment he remembered it, his heart and mind apprehended it. He trusted in Christ, repented of sin, became a born-again believer in that instant. Now his tombstone still reads to this day. I'll read it to you. This is his tombstone. It says, Here lies a baby in grace, aged three years old, who died according to nature, 106. Out of the 106 years of this gentleman's life, three of them were lived the life of grace. The point of that testimony is not, oh, wow, that's spectacular. The point is, how long did the Word of God remain resident in his heart and mind before it activated its supernatural power to bring about the new life? Even for some of you, you've shared the gospel with work colleagues, friends, family, or, or just entire strangers, maybe online, maybe on the street, maybe on the bus, wherever it is, and you felt in that moment that it has achieved nothing. In fact, maybe you felt like you, you did more harm than good. But you know what the Word of God tells us about itself? It says it's living and it's abiding and the Word of God never returns to him void but always achieves its purposes. Sometimes it takes days, sometimes weeks, sometimes months. And the example of this gentleman, 85 years later, could you imagine being that preacher? No doubt already dead, no doubt already in heaven, no doubt already enjoying his reward as a faithful gospel preacher, walk around with his crown. The Bible says we get them right. And all of a sudden out of nowhere, this diamond just beams out of his crown. Where'd that come from? Someone just got saved from your ministry directly. How? Well, you preached to him 85 years ago. I want to assure you, if you are faithful in declaring the word, maybe you're not a preacher like me or Pastor Tom, but you are a messenger of grace. There are people you share the gospel with this week that may take years, possibly decades. You might even be in heaven already and your ministry to them sparks revival in their heart and they become born again. This word of God touching the furthest reaches of the world and yet remains always spreading. Spreading. 